Welcome to another free Microsoft Access tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use an append query to perform automatic monthly billing for your customers. Okay, here's the setup. I've got a customer table, customer ID, auto number, first name and last name, a field indicating whether they're a member of a membership plan, and if so, what is their membership amount? Most people are $12.99, which you can see some of the older customers have been grandfathered in at $9.99, so the membership amount can be different. Now, once a month, I want to put all the customers who are members down here in the invoice table, customer ID related up here, the invoice date, the amount due, and any notes, if you want to put notes in here. Now, right now, I have to do it by hand, so I have to come in here and say, okay, customer 2, that's Amy Jones, on 10-7 owes me $9.99. And then customer 3, Don Barker, on 10-7, owes me $12.99. And so on. Now that gets tedious to do if you have 5,000 members. So what I want is I want to use an append query that says take all of these members and automatically add records for them down here. And of course you'd have additional fields down here like is this paid and so on, but this is just a simple example for the tutorial. So how do I do this? Well, let's close the tables, save changes, yes, and let's create a query. Create, query design, bring in the customers. Now, what fields are we going to have to take from the customer table and put in the invoice table? Well, I need the customer ID. I don't need first name and last name. I don't need is member, but I need to look at it to determine which records to copy, and I need the membership amount. Let's put our criteria in first. I want only the records where is member is true or yes. So now if I take a look at this query, if I run it, there are all my customers who are members. The other ones don't show up. Okay, but we're not done yet. Let's turn this into an append query. All right, what table are we appending into? The invoice table in the current database. Hit OK. Notice now I have an append to row down here. Customer ID will append into the customer ID of the invoice table. Now, membership amount doesn't have anything down here, and I did that on purpose. The fields aren't named the same, so just drop this box down. This is the list of fields from the other table. Membership amount goes into amount. And is member isn't going anywhere. We're just using it for the criteria. All right, so let's save this. This will be my monthly append query. And I'm just going to close it. We're not going to run it yet. Notice it's over here. Notice the icon is different. All right, let's take a look at our invoice table. It's blank. Now let's run the monthly append query. Double click on it. You're about to run an append query that will modify the data in your table. Are you sure? Yep. You're about to append three rows. That sounds about right. Say yes. And now take a look at your invoice table. Look at that. Right? Customer ID came over. The amount came over. Those are the right IDs. The invoice date is blank. You know, we can fix that with a default value. Let's go into the table design. Let's go into invoice date. And we'll just default this to equals date. Like that. So whenever we run the append query, whatever today's date is will automatically go in there. Let's save that and do it again. Let's delete those three records. Actually, let's leave these here. Let's just put a fake date in here. Let's put uh, let's put last month's date in there. Nine nine. Let's say. Whoops. I type into nine nine nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. So there's last month's invoices. Now let's run it again for this month. Right. Double click. There's your warning message again. Yes. Append three rows. That's fine. And now check your table. And there you go. Three records from last month. The original ones. Three records from today. Perfect. Now, obviously, this was just a simple example, but there's lots you can do with append queries. I cover append queries in detail in my Access Expert 15 class. I cover a detailed example of using append queries with student attendance. We put customers into various classes, like Word 101, Excel 101, and so on. Then we have a daily attendance table where all the students that are in that class 
get automatically added to the attendance table, so all the instructor has to do is check the boxes, present, absent, present, absent, and so on. Then I show you how to make an AppPen query macro, where you can click that button, it runs the AppPen query, it turns all the warning messages off, because those get annoying. And then we make some different reports. We can see student attendance by date, by class, by student, and so on. And then finally, at the end of Access 15, we start getting into delete queries, where you can actually delete records off of tables. I show an example where we archive old contacts from our customers. So any contacts over a year old get appended with an append query into a backup table, an archive table. Then a delete query cleans them out of the original table. So lots of stuff covered in this class. Once again, that's Access Expert Level 15. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I post new videos all the time, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. I've got tons of free Microsoft Access tips and tricks videos online, plus lessons and other subjects like Excel, Word, Visual Basic, Windows, and lots more. And, of course, be sure to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com, for even more free videos, access message forums, and lots of other goodies. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.